New at 5, Utah parenting vlogger Ruby Frankie was back in court today for the hearing on the custody of her four of her six children. Newly released police body cam video was showing the moments after police raided her home in August. And ABC's Melissa Don has the new details. Utah mom influencer Ruby Frankie, known for her tough love parenting methods on YouTube that attracted millions of followers, now facing legal scrutiny over those methods. Today, she was back in court on child abuse charges. Keeping them home from school and wiping the floorboards would like really bring pain. Exclusive body cam footage obtained by ABC News shows when police with guns drawn go room to room inside Frankie's Utah home after her 12 year old son allegedly escaped Jody Hildenbrandt's home and Police ran to a neighbor who called 911. I just had a 12 year old boy show up here at my front door asking for help. He's emaciated, he's got tape around his legs, he's hungry and he's thirsty. Authorities then went to the Utah home of Jody Hildenbrandt, Frankie's business partner, which is where they claim they found Frankie's 10 year old daughter, also in an emaciated condition. Well, we, yeah. we have to physically see her. Frankie, a mother of six, and Hildenbrandt charged with six felony child abuse charges. The duo accused of allegedly tying up two of Frankie's children with duct tape and starving them. Some of the alleged claims of neglect had previously been reported on a 911 call made from Frankie's eldest daughter, Sherry, last year. My four younger siblings are living in Springville, and my neighbors have been telling me that they have been left home alone for about four or five days. ABC News obtained records showing police responded to the Frankie's home more than a dozen times over the last few years, including reports of juvenile problems in 2018 and welfare checks in 2022. A strange husband, Kevin Frankie, who's been separated from his wife since last summer, is fighting for custody of their four minor children in court. Police say all four kids are currently in the care of the state's child and family services. Melissa Don, ABC News, Los Angeles.